Hello, 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 hello. Hello, my zillions. I have a triple threat review for you today because we got three Bandai Ultra Action figures with Exhaustion Shin Ultraman and Landing Form Shin Ultraman and, and Fake Shin Ultraman. That's right. Three Shin Ultraman. Well, two Shin Ultraman and one fake Shin Ultraman. Um, but yeah, all three brand new Ultra Action figures. Uh, one of these came out in December. I believe it's this one. And these two came out in January. You can get all three of them at HLJ. The link is down below. A lot of packages are, you know, not much to write home about. You know, a little bit of product stuff in the back. But not that much. It's all about the products inside. And as you can see, two of the three come with effect parts. Which, again, we're getting more and more of in this line. Which makes this line a lot more valuable. So without any further ado, let's get to the review. And here are the three shins out of the packaging. And we'll take a look at the oldest one first. The exhausted Shin Ultraman. As you can see, he's in green. And, you know, I'm sorry if it's a spoiler at this point. But this is, um, you know, in lieu of color timers, he turns green when he's exhausted. I mean, the, the spoiler is in the name of the figure itself. There's not much I could do about that, guys. Um, so, like, a nice darkish, army-ish green. Uh, it might come be coming out a little bit too dark on screen here. Uh, but yeah, it's green, and, uh, it, it's kind of cool, it's kind of like an army green. All three of these guys have different heads, which is cool as well. So you see that? The head looks pretty good on Exhausted Shin. There's nothing crazy about it, but I like it. I do, I think the eyes look really good, the shape is nice, the paint is where it needs to be. Uh, and then the silver paint around is pretty good, you got a little bit of mess up right in there. But the arms look pretty decent. The front looks good. I like the gloss there. I think it looks pretty nice on the green. The legs looking pretty good on the back. If you've seen any <laughs> of these figures, and I say this all the time. Uh, but yeah, they have screws in the back. It is what it is. It keeps uh, it cheap. It's a cheap budget articulated figure um but they're good the heads move like that there's no waist articulation you got a hinge swivel at the shoulder you have a bicep swivel you have a single jointed elbow you have a wrist swivel and then you have a uh, finger movement which is very cool i like that a lot the legs do a full split kicks forward goes back knee bend and i'm really up close for for this stuff and i apologize um and then the foot is on a ball joint they all have the same articulation well you know we won't look at the rest um because you know unless there's something weird and wrong about them uh because they're all the same body so yeah it is what it is now landing form shin you know like his original form when he comes to earth is in a light gray uh you know and the silver and that looks really good and it kind of keeps in line with a lot of all other ultramen that have like a lot of this like kind of grayish look to their original forms as you can see he comes with the specium beam which you just put around his hand and i think that's fine i think it's a good budget way to do an accessory part it looks fine enough it looks good and i'm sure you could use this with your shfs uh why not you know it works and it looks good that the part itself is actually really nicely done I like it. It's not too long, you know, obnoxiously long or anything. It looks good. And again, nice and easy goes around his hand. So uh, I dig it. I dig it. I think that's a very, very cool deal. Like I said, the body is done in a gray, which looks nice in that gloss. The legs look pretty decent. The back again, the screw holes. You got the silver, which works. The arms look pretty good. I noticed something there there's a little bit of a scrape there on mine but otherwise it's pretty good you know for the price point i mean like 
These guys are generally about or under 20 bucks, <laughs> depending on inflation, um, or the conversion, I should say. And the head sculpt is different, as you can see. He's got more of that kind of type A look to his face with some wrinklage. I think that's pretty good. The eyes are pretty much the same. Maybe a tad different. Yeah, I would say a little bit different, I think. But I do dig the wrinklage on his face. You know, more elongated, alien looking. It's pretty good, and I really do like the colors for this. I think it looks really, really sharp. And the uh, proportions on these guys are, I think, pretty perfect. I think they capture the look very, very well of Shin Ultraman. I, I do dig And last but not least, we got the fake Shin Ultraman. And um, he's got the really cool effect part, too. So, you know, that spinning laser blade... <laughs> I got trans. Uh, I got Voltron on my mind. Anywho, I like it. I think it's pretty good. Nicely done again. Same concept. Goes around his hand. So it works. It works. I don't like it as much as a specimen meme, but you know, it, it's totally fine. Uh, it is. It, it works again. You know, getting an effect part for these guys is pretty ideal. And the articulation, like I said, is the same on these guys. So I won't go over. It. And there's nothing crazy here. These guys are super solid when it comes to. The articulation and on uh, you know the joints are almost always nice and tight i've i don't think i've gotten have i gotten any loose ones of these i don't think i have so yeah that's really really good um i do dig it so let's look at the rest of it the bottom of again he's in regular ultraman colors look all right not so bad nothing crazy there the red looks good Silver looks pretty good throughout. And yes, you know, just to mention it, the the hands are in a different color gray. Um, that cheapens it up a tad, but I get it. I'm fine with it. I know what I'm getting here, guys. You know, I've been collecting this line pretty much from the very, very beginning. Um, so I do, I do like it. I do like it. And now the head sculpt, as you can see, is different. The eyes are very different. They're much smaller than regular. And uh, it's got a, a different shape head as well. As you can see, he's got the little notch in the middle of his ear compared to no notch here. So that's different as well. I think the crest is just about the same. But yeah, you know, it's a different look, which is good. That's why I, I, I wanted to get it. Um, yeah, it's a good fake Shin Ultraman. So there you go. I, I like these guys. And to be honest, there is no way I was ever going to get SHFs of these guys. I felt, uh, I'll, be, I'll be totally honest. I kind of felt cheated getting Zafi <laughs> in the SHF line. Um, I, I should have just kept it with the Ultra Action figure line. I don't know why I decided to get this guy, too. Uh, except I do really like these colors. Um, but totally fine with these three being my version of these versions of Shin Ultraman. Because for your size comparisons, you can see here better that the SHF, that's Zafi, fits really well with the Ultra Actions. They scale perfectly together, and that's the... Ultra Action Shinzofi, and they, they scale well with the Kaiju from Movie Monster Series, and um, I think better with this, I, I do think this Movie Monster Series Mephilus is uh, a little bit tall. He, he does kind of scale nicely with the Mafex, so I think I mentioned that in uh, Mephilus' review, but I don't know. Whenever I look at these together, I get different ideas, so. But uh, yeah, I, I do like the Ultra Action line, like I've said many, many times, that, you know, it just, it fits really well with your six inch figures. So it's great to be able to mix and match if you want to save some money. And my final thoughts, this is a perfect way to get representation in a six inch articulated scale of these versions of Shin Ultraman, the landing version, the fake 
version and uh, the exhaustion version into your collection without having to get more SH figure arts and spending more money on basically the same mold. This is a good way to go, guys. For real, like 20 bucks each. You can't go wrong, you know, like you really, really can't. Uh, and I know folks will be argue, oh, but look, you could get like a Marvel Legends for 20 bucks and you get more. But you know what? You really can't get a Marvel Legends for 20 bucks anymore. Now, can you? Hmm. So things are going up. Um, what I'm saying is for an import figure, this is a totally fair price. Uh, they're solid, solid figures. I like that fake and ex um, and landing come with accessories. That is really cool. So yeah, I, I recommend these guys. Link is down below to HLJ. Check the availability of any of these guys. Uh, and, and you'll be happy with them. Honestly, you're going to be happy with them. I think they're really cool figures. And there you go. I'm not getting SHFs of any of these guys. <laughs> so if you could please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Check me out on Facebook and Instagram. Stay safe. Till next time. Show watch!